Hey guys, Zong here. Back with another math video. Um, last week Daniel did for Matt's low theorem, and last last week I did some AMGM. So I'm going to build on some uh, AMGM. So we have your problem. It's from U S A M O, 2011, uh, number one. So it's a U S A M O problem. So it's uh, it's definitely not easy. So uh, let's just jump right into it. So if you want to try to solve it, pause the video and uh, let's go. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at this first because this looks uh, this looks rather interesting. So you know what? Let's just expand this condition. So a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Sorry, lag. It is horrendous. By the way, happy Halloween. I hope you guys got a ton of candy and uh, stuff like that. Because, you know, I love candy. So, let's see. So, you expand into that. So, this thing is uh, is this thing. So, th this thing is this thing. So, um, so, that makes 2 plus b squared plus c squared plus a b plus a c plus b c so a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus a b plus a c plus b c sorry it's going so slow the faster i write the lag year it gets so we are left with this condition so Let's see, like, I don't see any twos in here that we can, like, substitute. We want to prove that, uh, we want to prove that, uh, this is greater than three. So, if we prove, if we somehow put two into this equation, and this is less than two. So, if we put two into, we replaced two with something, if we replace, in this equation, we find a two, in this side, and we replace it with this. And we prove that if we prove the new okay okay I'll just do it for you so you guys understand because some of you might not understand so let's just try to get a two out here okay first so let's just start with the first term because I don't want to write the entire thing up oops I don't know what that was um a plus b squared and let's substitute two inside and see what we get so we know sorry ignore that we know that this if we substitute two in this is less than two. So if this is less than two, if we sub this in for two, this is going to be this is all this is definitely going to be greater than or equal to if we sub this in for two. Because two is greater than this, so if the side with the two should be greater. Okay. Oh that was clear. Cause uh I don't teach for a living, so Oh, oops, forgot the c squared, sorry. Um, over a plus b squared. So then, oops, never mind. So, this is less than this, okay? So we can prove, if we can prove that this is still greater than this, we can prove this is greater than 3. Is this greater than 3? If it's greater than this, this is definitely going to be greater than this. So let's try to prove, like, you know, you, well, you know there's three parts to this equation, but let's, you know, let's, uh, let's try to do something with this to see what we can do about this term. Because if you look at it, these terms all seem very, uh, very, very similar. So if we find the minimum value of this term, this minimum value, the minimum value should be the same for the other terms as well. Because, you know, in the other terms, you just replace B with A and c with b, and you'd still get the same minimum value. So this minimum value should be equal to these minimum values. So uh, we want the minimum value to be 3. So it'd be really nice if this minimum value would be 1. Because then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3. So if this is greater than or equal to 1, we've sort of just solved it. So let's let's try to let's try to solve that. So, <clears throat> so let's, let's try to reduce this. So I see a 2ab in a squared plus b squared. Which is really cool. Oops, forgot the parentheses. So let's do a plus b squared plus. Now, now this is where it gets tricky. 
So this thing, you can actually factor. And I'll tell you what it factors into. It factors into C plus A and C plus B. It's really cool. I mean, you know, all our terms are used. Oh, wait, whoops. Uh, not this. Yeah, sorry about that. This. Yeah, this part is factorable into that. And that's really cool because we used up all our terms. And uh, we get this much cleaner than what we started with the equation. Which is also equal to 1 because we can take this out. We can take this part out. Plus C plus A. C plus B. Over A plus B. Squared. Now... So we're left with this. Now, what are we what are we supposed to how are we supposed to find the minimum value of this? Well, let's try to remember that we have three of these terms. Because we can reduce all of these. We can really reduce all of these into this form. So we have three of these terms. It's that the only thing different between these three terms when we reduce all of these, so we have all we have three ones, right? So it's three plus C plus A. C plus E or A plus B squared plus, and then you interchange these. You interchange the variables. But the interesting thing about this is we can we can now use this to actually you do AMGM. So so let's uh let's just try to uh sorry let's let's move move over a bit so you only get the essential stuff of the problem right here you get this stuff so you need that stuff so we can actually use amgm on these three terms so c plus a c plus b ah, c plus b over a plus b squared oh plus i'll just use plus so it doesn't get too complicated uh let's see uh B plus A, B plus C over A plus C squared plus B, oh sorry, uh, A plus B, A, why do I keep screwing up? A plus C squared over b plus c squared all right now here here's where it gets interesting shall we say so the place where it gets interesting is oh plus three so the way it gets interesting is we have to find the minimum value of all these so this looks like three terms that are interchangeable so we can try to take the arithmetic mean of this so let's just call this plus this plus this x the x plus three so x is the minimum value of all these terms. So x over 3, that's the arithmetic mean of these terms. Remember, arithmetic mean is the sum of these terms over how many there are, like the average number of apples and the average number of oranges, average number of students in every class. It's the average of these. So basically, it's that, arithmetic mean. And from AMGM, we know that it is less than or equal to, or wait, wait, wait. I think it's less than or equal to. Am I, am I going insane? I think it's, uh, no, 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 it's not less than or equal, it's greater than or equal to, jeez, my, my brain today, I'm sorry guys, so, is greater than or equal to, uh, let's say, that would be, uh, yeah, if we multiply these together, so, the funny part is, if you look at these terms, if you look at these terms, there's like two of every term, let me tell you what I mean, so there's, Jesus Christ, there's, a plus B, A plus C, and there's A plus C. There's A plus B, and there's A plus B. And there's B plus B plus C, and there's B plus C. So if we multiply all these terms, we'll have two copies of every term. So we'll essentially have A plus B squared plus B plus C squared plus A plus C squared. And the bottom will be A plus B squared plus plus uh, b plus c. Well you, well, you see where we're going. I'm not going to draw the rest. But this equals 1. So x over 3 is greater than or equal to 1. 
What does this mean? X is greater than or equal to 3. We found a minimum value. So if we found a minimum value, we found a minimum value of this equation. The minimum value is just you know, this thing plus 3. This is the minimum value, remember? So 3 plus 3. So thus, this entire expression is greater than 6. And you're just like, wait a second. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, it, hold it right there, Zong. How is it greater than 6 if this is 3? That's, that's not what the question is asking. Well, remember, we multiplied by 2 here. We, we multiply by 2 right here. So if we multiply by 2 and we multiply all the terms by 2 when we evaluate them, this entire expression is going to be around 2, which is greater than or equal to 6. So if we divide both sides by 6, I mean 2, we divide both sides by 2, we just get this. A plus B plus 1 over A plus B plus squared plus B plus C plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3. We just get that. And we have proven it. I hope you see how. Um, let's, let me just do a quick review because this is a hard problem and I want you guys to understand. So first we took this condition, we reduced it, and we made it greater than, less than or equal to 2. Then we multiplied this term by 2 to get this, and we replaced 2 with that. We factored into this, okay, and this is equal to one, this 1 plus this. We did that for every single other term. We combined the 1s and did that for every single other term. Then we used AMGM. We realized that the arithmetic mean of that is always going to be greater than the geometric mean of that. And we realized that the geometric mean of these things is actually 1 because all the terms cancel out, which means that the least x can be is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, so it's greater than or equal to 6. And when you divide by 2, because we multiplied this term by 2, we have to divide by 2 this time, you get greater than or equal to 3. So I hope that made sense to you. I know I was not on my A game today because I made a ton of mistakes that might have confused you. Just like, well, what the heck? Why'd you put a plus there? Why'd you put a negative sign there? I don't know. But uh, I hope that uh, made sense um, to you guys, and I hope to see you next. Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we're going to do a 1989 Amy number nine. And it says, one of Euler's conjectures was disproved in the 1960s by three American mathematicians when they showed there was a positive integer such that a bunch of numbers to the fifth power is equal to n to the fifth power. Find the value of n. Well, to start out, you can first try to do the problem yourself. All right. Now, to start this out, we can see that n is greater than 133. That's pretty obvious, since if n was equal or less than 133, then all this stuff is is all this stuff is greater than 133 to the fifth power, and that's bad. So, but then what else can we do? We can't just like evaluate it or something because that's not very feasible. So, looking at all these fifth powers makes us think of a theorem